verify and what, so we have to wait for you until you are ready. So, since you are ready, we'd like to say, uh, for the sake of the gathering, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. In his peace and blessing of Allah be upon you all. So, ladies and gentlemen of the press, welcome to the Ministry of Internal Affairs. This is our official conference room. And I'm Abu Bakr Ba. I serve here as Assistant Minister for Urban Affairs. But we are here on the Hash Committee's press conference, first major press conference since the committee was set up by His Excellency Dr. George Manuel Weir. Here we want to say again that you are wholeheartedly welcome. We ask that uh, you uh, put all of your phones on silent again because we do not want any distraction. And so without any delay, we have uh, some of our, our fathers, our big imams, the Grand Mufti, Sheikh Balde, Sheikh Kamara, and all of our big imams and fathers that uh, we know are in our midst, so we do not want to be in a state of disturbance. So without me now, for this year's Hajj Committee, and uh, he will give an overview of the press conference and then a recognition of some of the members who are in our base here on the Hajj Committee. So, uh, Mbokone, you are welcome. Thank you very much, and uh, let me say assalamu alaikum and say good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Um, we wholeheartedly welcome you here in this conference hall where this is going to be our first major press conference as uh, head of the 2022 National Hash Committee. Uh, we start by recognizing. Uh, some very important personalities here, uh, from the both from the Muslim community and from the government circle. We want to start by recognizing the Deputy Director General of Operation of the General Agency Services, uh, that's Honorable Idris Bedete. Uh, we want to also welcome Brother Mohammed Jallo from the Cooperative Development Agency. He served there as one of the Deputy Director Generals. We also have uh, Mr. Abu Bakr Ba, even though he already introduced himself uh, as Assistant Minister of Ministry of Internal Affairs. Brother Ayuba Fofana is also from the Ministry of Internal Affairs. You are welcome. And of course, we have our brother, Pierre Usman Jallo, a uh, religious ambassador to the President, or Islamic ambassador to the President, first of his kind. We emphasis since Liberia became a country, we have never had such opportunity as Muslim. No Muslim has served as ambassador to the president on Islamic affairs. And Mr. Jallo happened to be the very first person. And we want to say thank you, Mr. President, for giving us that kind of a recognition. Uh, we will heartily appreciate that. We also have uh, Brother Rashid. Rashid is the Secretary General of this committee. We have uh, Sheikh Umaru. Sheikh Umaru is honorary member of Umaru. this. Eh? Uh, full, okay, full fledged member, sorry for that, uh, of the committee of who? Uh, my own Imam, uh, uh, Imam Badi, uh, somebody who I have admired for over years. Uh, he also is honorary member of the committee of who? The Grand Mufti is uh, no strange person to us. Uh, we all know him. Uh, Sheikh Abu Bakr Sumaro is the Grand Mufti of the Republic of Liberia. Very knowledgeable. And Grand Mufti means the most knowledgeable person. I could be corrected if I make mistake. Yeah. And, and uh, members of the CDC Islamic Affairs, Brother Mohammed Swari, a court of officer. And any other person here, sorry, because of time, if you didn't hear your name, uh, that is because of time, but you are all welcome. Again, uh, just to explain to you a little bit about the Hash Committee was set up uh, a few 
maybe a few, one month ago, a few weeks ago, by His Excellency Chu, the Ministry of Internal Affairs, as you may be aware, the Ministry of Internal Affairs presides over such matter in any country, in other countries they will call the Minister of, uh, Minister of Interior. So internal affairs means internal matters in the country. So uh, Honorable Vanity said he uh, is not with us today because of some engagement, but also want to recognize his efforts and uh, sacrifices he continues to make. So this committee uh, is a committee, but we are fighting if God can give us the strength to give him more strength, more power, uh, because committee can be dissolved after a period. But we are fighting if God can permit us to have a national hash commission. Uh, you know, if it is a commission, then they have a tenure, maybe more than the three months, because the hash process is just maybe three months. But if we can have a commission through legislation, we could go maybe four years, five years, based on what it would be approved, so what would be approved by the house. We're still working on that. May Allah give us that strength. Mm -hmm. uh, so the background of this is to tell you that this year hash committee was set up, and Mr. Loseni Belete uh, is the chairperson of this committee. Uh, and of course, I am uh, the co-chairperson uh, for this committee. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, and so I want to say this uh, press conference today will be presided over by the chairperson and support from members of the committee. So, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Lucini Belete, chairperson, National House Commission of Liberia 2022. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Thank you, Honorable Co-Chair. The all Co-Chair. I was telling you today that Co-chair for administration and operation, put the press together. <laughs> uh, I also like Samir Malik, Minister of Energy, Mr. Malik, Mr. Rahim, and quickly, National Hajj Committee of Liberia 2022. We welcome the folk estate of our credit and the government by the co-chair. Press released by the National Hajj Committee of Liberia 2022. NHCL for short. In the names of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, cherisher and sustainers of the world, and masters of the day of judgment. The National Heart Committee of Liberia 2022, NHCL, has established in keeping with precedence by the government of Liberia announces the commencement of registration of pilgrims for the year 2022. The official course of this year's Hajj pilgrimage finally stands at 6,500 United States dollars per pilgrim. In order to ensure proper coordination, rules, and orderliness, we request all HAT agencies within the bailiwick of Liberia to contact the Secretary General of the Committee, sitting down by me here, Sheikh Rashid Sharif, via his telephone number that we are announcing to the press, 0776. 517 915 or 0888 517 958 for accreditation by the National House Committee of Liberia 2022. All house agencies within Liberia must undertake to meet the following requirements. And it is key for you to take note of the eight requirements. One, deposit an amount of 200 United States dollars to the account of the National House Committee of Liberia 2022, NHCL, at the International Bank or RB between 11 and 12 streets, Sinko, Morovia, Liberia. Two, Ensure that your agency is free 
from all kinds of bad and or illegal financial history, both in Liberia and Saudi Arabia. Three, agencies should deposit all payments of payments under their control in a timely manner as time is of the essence and to avoid delay. Four, payments will be enrolled on the first come, first serve basis and as per the official listing of the National Health Committee of Liberia, which will be generated in accordance with the banking records of RB pursuant to the best practice. Five, agencies should individualize payments registration in terms of payment in our account number in our account number 001218113203302 and submit all such payment with the National Health Committee of Liberia within 24 hours for all world inclusion into the general official list. Six, programs are also encouraged to undertake their hard related payments by depositing all money either directly into the account of the National Health Committee or through a duly accredited agency. Seven, copy of the bank deposit slips should immediately be taken to the National House Committee of Liberia through its secretariat for registration and efficient recording system. This is to enhance transparency and accountability in the health processes of the Republic of Liberia. Eight, it is imperative to note that all persons of interest should disseminate to all pilgrims that there will be strict adherence to the following enumerated infra. A, all pilgrims should be within the age between 18 to 65 years. B, all pilgrims must comply with the wearing of masks and their attending protocols in every gathering both in Liberia and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In view of the aforementioned, we strongly encourage all pilgrims desirous of performing Hajj this year 2022 to register with the National Hajj Committee of Liberia and all duly accredited Hajj agencies within the Republic of Liberia by the National Hajj Committee of Liberia 2022 all accredited health agencies must display their accreditation to program desires of performing health this year, which should be signed and stamped by the chairman of the National Health Committee of Liberia 2022, Alahadi Councilor Lucene Ebbe. Anyone dealing with any agency or institution that is not duly accredited by the National Health Committee of Liberia will be doing so at his or her own period. As such person cannot make any claim against the National Health Committee of Liberia in case of any eventuality. The National Health Committee of Liberia the National Health Committee of Liberia which is to assure all persons of interest to include but not limited to the general public, the National Muslim Council of Liberia, all duly accredited health agents of Liberia, and the entire Muslim community that it is open to doing business with all on the basis of fairness, open-mindedness, equity and transparency. 
The official account once again of the National Heart Committee of Liberia is at the IB, the International Bank, and it is 00218-113-2033-102. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Sign the National Heart Committee Chairperson. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the press. That is the official position of the government of Liberia on this year Hash Committee. And you have heard from the uh, the spokesman, official spokesman, who is also the chairman of the committee. So um, while you were speaking, we witnessed the arrival of the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs, your son and brother, Honorable Bani Ali Salif. Uh, so the, the minister might want to say one of three words, and then there was something that the deputy of the committee wanted to add. Uh, but the, uh, assalamu alaikum. I would love for the deputy to add. Uh, deputy is here in charge. I just came to get them support. Uh, as Minister of Internal Affairs and a Muslim. Salam alaikum. So, what I wanted to add is nothing here happened, have never happened before. Uh, in our young age, there have been a precedent, in a precedent case, as the lawyer would say, that the hash has always been controlled by the government of the Republic of Liberia. It has always been the government's responsibility to set up the committee as far as our little knowledge can serve. The background of this is because it might be rumor, but we want to tell you that nothing happened here by mistake. We are here today by the government of Liberia setting on the committee. And in fact, there is a precedent that women have had this same committee before. And today, men are heading it. I just want to caution us or caution our fathers that they should be very happy that you have young people yeah. in such position. Even the aunt say, we should fight to make our children better than us. And if that is true, which it is, you should be happy that you have Honorable Benete here as head of this committee and your own son, as young as I am, as co-chair. You should be very happy. And we as Muslims in Liberia, we should forever and ever be grateful to the leadership that we have today. To His Excellency Dr. George Manuia. In my young age, there have never been a time in my age that the Muslim Jaman or the Muslim community went to the executive mansion. Then the ministry, let's say the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that was hosting the presidency or the president. So I consider that place then as the, minister, as the executive mansion. We went there, we prayed. The president gave all that privilege. And let me say to you here, that was not the first time. Idris Benete is here, Abu Bakr Ba is here, Usman Jalo is here, Memesi is out there, Kalasko is there. This president, even before becoming president, have always given us the kind of opportunity to worship. We have prayed many days in the lobby of his office. And Whenever it was time for us to pray, he made sure that every movement was halted until we finished praying. So what you witness at the executive mansion or the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is not only because he president today. More to that, we've gone to his home as a Jaman to break fast. We should be proud. We should be happy. I personally, as a Muslim, I owe President Weir. But I just wanted to say to you that this hash has always been a government thing. And President, we are setting a committee through the Minister of Internal Affairs is of no new thing. 
that have been a precedent and it's the same thing that we are doing. So we want to work with everybody, we pray and hope that there will not be any corridor institution. Nobody will go and form any other committee on any other side. The National High Committee of Liberia is controlled and owned by the government of Liberia because even in negotiation, it's from government to government. If they are operating with any individual, that person has to be credited or accepted by the government of the day. And I think, President, we have did just that. So I just wanted to say to you, uh, that was just a little thing I did. I didn't say earlier on, and I just wanted to make that clarity. Thank you for the clarity, Mr. Co-Chairman. Uh, Chairman, do you want to yes, ask something? Yes, uh, uh, Chair Pumaru is the, an active member of this committee, and also Chairman Emerito, the immediate Chairman Emerito of the National Muslim Council, will make a remark, and then Chair Abaga and Chair Badi will do the prayer, before the, uh, uh, the Minister will do his remark, and Chair Badi will do the prayer. Okay, so <coughs> that, that, that says it, uh, Sheikh. Permit me, let me stay. Okay. Going to stay and you glorify your law, God. <laughs> we want to start this award. Comment. And glorify your God. Allah. 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 I want all of us, Muslims, non-Muslims, here, present, And the Imam Day, Your Honor, I don't know anybody in the history that was very, very, very bad and frisky to God than Free Auna of, of Egypt. This Free Auna, Pharaoh. Pharaoh of Egypt, in the Bible and the Quran, he called himself God. <clears throat> and I don't think that any body in the world was famous like Pharaoh. It was the time of Moses. <clears throat> when God was sending Moses and Aaron, Harun, to this Pharaoh, <laughs> As arrogant as he is, as frisky as he is, as bad as he is, <coughs> power of God is not new to all of you here. Mm -hmm. God told Musa and Islam and Aaron, in Haba Ilafa. I think you all know more than me. My own point that I took there, this free arm, as arrogant as frisky he is to God, he called himself God. God was sent the messenger. He tell his own messenger, when you go to a free arm, take the heart to talk to him. Take the heart to talk to him. That taught us, we the Muslims, and most especially Imam and scholars, how respected we're supposed to be towards our leader. It might be in your religion, it might not be in your religion, but as long as he is declared as a leader of your country, we're supposed to give him full respect. Full respect. Alhamdulillah, our own we have is George Weir, 
who have respect for the Muslim and for entire Liberian and other religions, for more Muslims. Islam have received, have received in the hand of George Weir, Excellency President George Weir, never, had, never received that kind of respect from 1847 up to now. That is a point. Islamic religious affair, <coughs> Bala Usman, Jawa. All of all, we have been here. I will not there 1847. I will not there. But according to history and story we learn, up to that appointment of this brother, nobody was appointed by any president. Mm -hmm. That's true. So we thank George Weir again. They can do any other one now. But that was very, very great breakthrough for the Liberal Muslims. I was the chairman at the time. Therefore, on behalf of the Muslims in Liberia, I was the first person who thanked George Weir and recognized and called Mr. Jalo the chief imam. Not because of the education. Not because of age, not because of what, but the respect, all the Muslim respect have we given to him. I always be hanging into advising. So many things came inside in the Liberian way. Tribalism, educational problem. He is asking your major leader for Osman. Osman was appointed by president. We are not all educated, but we are educated people among them, religiously. Therefore, we are behind him. And we will be behind him until his time. I just want to say that as a beginning to say how much Muslims have respect for the God We ask Expecting more things to do by George Weir. He is a person. And if any information comes from Mr. Weir's office, eh? we got a lot of things at all. The committee was not appointed by the president. The Bani Sharif and military, they didn't want to appoint you people. My own understanding. No, listen now, take my own understanding is even I don't you forgive me. Even the rock, the rock, the thing that can, can be yeah. in the office of the president, we we'll see him with information, eh? Yeah, the president office. Yeah. office. Yeah. How much more our Kamo Bani Sheriff from Papuru? Bombing in Papuru. No problem. No problem. And then, Mr. Bilete, who have been, you know, that my honest, that my upcoming, uh, wondering about Muslim people here in this country. This brother, Vani Sharif, as his name is, I call him a And Bilete, when the high business all went to crack, and we try to come together, bring the early Johnson Sirleaf president, former president. I always see Mr. Van, if you don't count his same message. Bilete, he will all every day. That's why I was telling him the other day, we want to proceed in Bilete's place. I mean, I'll allow you tomorrow. I said, because uh, he personally said, I have not been a member of any high school. I said, no, they're not. Then you worry about Islam business. You are there. No, no. Let me go behind you. Then, at that point, I was so surprised. I'm seeing this one before generals are here today. Not only Muslims. I hope the Muslim Council have appointed Hajj Committee another one. And I point. Abdullah Kuma 
Mohan Berkone, the Secretary for Legal Scholar, as the President and the Vice for Hajj Committee. Oh, I see the problem country that we are most in here. When the President have appointed they say, and then this uh, brother to go and, and appoint one. That confusion come in, holy and fully. But uh, anyhow, even up to where I'm standing, I'm here to call on Muslim Council. Please, let us unite and work together with the president. We will not make it to feel bad. The other thing you have for all to give it. They gave down to not to give to us. So, Mr. Bilefe, and what you see that you are two, we were appointed by, and we also were appointed by Van Michel. And in Liberia culture, I don't know what I made mistakes, thank you, correct me, sir. Liberia culture, any sheriff, who they are in Liberia. Shari people, they are what? Chief. They are chief for Islam. Vani? The Shari? And also? So, you are more not forget about your heritage. No. You should respect Shari people, even the little one. Vani is dead today in, in the internal affair. Who good he is coming? But, in Arabic, parable they say, the Kuli Alimi Kabwa. Meaning, I don't care however you are educated, I don't care however you are excellent, your food will hit on the road, on the road and walk every day. Don't be mistaken. You are not exempted from that. So we walk together, although they say, the Bani, the, the, this one, this one. I'm calling on all Muslim council, and I'm calling on the government appointee, eh, who should not take it to that way to continue conflict. We also all work together, and uh, that is only what benefited and uh, in the interest of Islam. And that will give all what Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm wrong Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very, very <coughs> the former head of uh, the Muslim Council of Liberia. Now we're trying to check uh, Baldi. We check Osamaru. Uh, no. No, okay. Baldi is the very new uh, He can make okay. a comment. Oh, okay, okay, sure. <coughs> <coughs> huh? No, it's Mr. Otoha. No, it's Mr. Otoha. No, it's Mr. Otoha. The Muslim is talking now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, was salatu was salamu ala Rasulullah. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah who deserves to be praised always. And we are sending our salutation and salam to the favor of the Prophet Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Before we proceed, we would like to register our gratitude and thanks and appreciation first to our tireless minister, Honorable Bani Salif, that I knew him for long times for his mediation between us in the state, and the state, particularly in the office of our beloved president, President George Manawia, that mediation that encouraged the president to establish this genuine Haji committee. We have to say thank you, Honorable Bani Salif. And this is how we knew you in the past. Even before you become government workers, 
you used to be a philanthropic in everyday work. Working men, when you were a professor at Muslim Congress School, and we pray that Allah always may promote you. And we send our big thanks and appreciation to the president, that president that we knew him to be a qualified trans model that does not want to enjoy the sleeping by sleeping on one side, but to sleep all the way on a bike in order the two breasts should be accessible for the ease of the three children in this country. Uh, anytime we cry in the ear of President George Mano, we are in any issue. He has to say something to us or do something to us that can make us hopeful and proud. So we thank you. Establishment of this Hajj Committee in its first of its kind in the history of Liberia in terms of the system and the kinds and the qualifications of the members. I, Abu Bakr, I was the chairman for the Haji Committee in the past at President Ali Johnson Salif regime. And before that, President uh, Taylor appointed his own wife, Hajja Fata, Fatmata, to be the head of the Hajj in this country. And after that, another government official named by Honorable Eber Masale was the head of this Hajj committee. It is something that we have to say the truth. During these regimes, the Hajj were not, the Hajj about Liberians were not free of progress. Uh, Any time we went to Saudi Arabia, <coughs> the authority have to come down and explain to us, show us some report. <coughs> that used to give bad image for our country in the area, in the assembly, that every nation all will be represented over there. So we need a committee that can organize better to try all what they're able to do in order for to be able to correct <laughs> some mistakes that happened in the past. I can remember the last hat that was offered before the COVID-19. <clears throat> there were so many, many mistakes. So many, many sinful reports that all were not reported back. But it gives he gave the burial by image in the Holy Land. So <clears throat> it was necessary for government had to look at it. This is why I said that the forming this committee by our president was not a favor, whether it was a duty, because he is responsible for any bad or good image of Liberia. So thank you, Mr. President, for, the, for forming this committee. After a consultation of my colleague in the advisory board, we have a change idea and come to conclude 
that we are telling the Haji, the Muslims Council to not to duplicate the names. Let them come together and help with the official Haji committee that was formed by the government. This Haji committee that was formed by the government, the former chairman of the National Muslims Council is member. The current chairman of the National Muslims Council is member. And majority of the stakeholders among the Muslims, they are member of this current committee. We should now look at the formality. Let's work on reality. So this is our first request. That is collective idea between me and my colleagues in the advisory board. And also, the new Hadi committee have to make sure to read a record of the previous committee and go review the image of Liberia in the past to avoid the negative one and to promote the positive one. At the end, um, to happy for this press conference. I want to advise the press people, media law have to be respected. You must report the ideas as high they will say. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Minister of Internal Affairs. We now have uh, the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs, Honorable Vani Eseli, to make a remark. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of this uh, noble committee. Uh, I want to thank all of the, our elders that have assembled here this afternoon to grace this occasion and members of the press. I want to say thanks once more to the father of this nation, President George Manuia, who asked that uh, as we ended the holy month of Ramadan, uh, when we got to know that uh, this year uh, will be feasible for citizens of this country to attend the Hajj, he immediately asked that we go into motion, that we should have our committee ready, that we uh, prepare the way for our people to attend the Hajj. We were predicated upon that, that we look in the community in consultation, of course, with the president to appoint this committee. Uh, you can assure the president fullest support to this committee, Mr. Chairman, the co-chair, and the members of this committee, and the uh, factory board. This is now a committee that uh, people are saying that is Vanis Serif committee. Uh, it is the same Vanis Serif that worked with you, Mr. Former Chair, uh, during Madam Seri time when the Hajj team was very confused, as Sheikh uh, uh, Abu Bakr said, uh, we got involved and we put it back on track uh, up to the point where President Seri left. There was, uh, in fact, there was a point in time we were saving money to start the following year Hajj until we got this uh, Hajj committee, uh, Hajj uh, agency being member of the committee, and then also there was breakdown, so a complete conflict of interest. So it is uh, in that light that we decided this time around that the committee will be devoid of any member of this committee that has hash agency will be replaced with immediate effect. This is the view of the president. So next time of well, the following year, the committee will have report for the community mm -hmm. that this is how much we we'll receive and this is what we expend it and this is what is available. Allah. 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 Our, thinking, our thinking in that line will be that if the Muslim Council is formally formed, which the constitution exists now, when we have election, we have elected leaders, this committee should be in a position to sometimes transfer 
monitor the council for the running of the Muslim Council of Liberia. This is the view, and this is the beginning. So uh, the president wants me to inform the Muslim community that there's no conflict, members of the press in the community. A uh, few people mm -hmm. think somehow, but we are talking, and we want to urge all those that want to attend this year, Ash, please, uh, the deposit, uh, how do you call it? The account number announced here today. Take note of it. Deposit the money into the account, and then you will come here and get your due, uh, the receipt, official receipt. Mm -hmm. This has been. This is the first time this is happening. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time when we did it with LBDR, but now this time the account will be at IB. So I want to say to everybody, mm -hmm. no one, no Hajj committee has been asked not to perform its function. All of the Hajj committee, like Lucini Kamara, has a Hajj committee. Abdel Sano has a Hajj agency, sorry. Hajj agency, Abdel Sano has one. We didn't stop them. We are only asking to come for accreditation. And the reason for accreditation, the committee is asking, is because if you go for short of the rules that have been drawn, then you will be held responsible. You become an agent that we can sue you. So that's why you, you come in to get accreditation. It's not to stop anybody from, from performing whatever. Two, the, 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 the hash committee or, um, that performed last, during Manansedi time, existed alongside with the National Muslim Council Hajj Committee, which were headed by Chef Umaru Sayon. We co collaborated and we cooperated. This committee, the current committee set up by the National Muslim Council of Liberia, which I don't think it should have been set up anyway because we are not yet had election in the council. By the way, that's a different story we can look at. Mm -hmm. This committee contacted me that they want to all of us to sit together, collaborate, and cooperate together. Fantastic. I said, this is one community. Let all of us come together. I called the chair and I told the chairman, say, this is what is coming before me, and then I think we should work on it. So that invitation still stands, and we are asking them, who can work together? Announcing a committee, members of the press, it doesn't mean anything. It happened before they have the Muslim the Council of Liberia Ash Committee and with the government of Liberia, which is the arm brother of all of them. If they are four five committee, the government takes precedence because it is the government that will arrange people getting visa. Visa will be allowed from country to country, yes. which is the Republic of Liberia under the leadership of President Weir. So this committee is not a committee to stop anybody, but it is a committee that will regulate if there's any hash agency. Scary. And that is what the committee is about. This committee also, if you do not want to go to any hash agency, they are saying, come to us, go to the bank, deposit the money, come and we'll give you receipt, and then your money will be properly accounted for. So I just want to say to the committee, you're being doing fantastically well. Send the committee formation almost every day you're having meetings. Thank you, Mr. And the challenges are there, and, and, and our community challenges will always be there. So uh, I just want to urge everybody, we are inviting everyone to come and call in, in, in. And especially say, Imam Bade, this is my Imam. He's here today to grace this occasion. I'm very pleased. Uh, 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 imam uh, Kamara, Umaru Kamara is here. And you check Abu Bakr, we need you. You please come. Whatever advices you have for these people, they are all young people, so we can all back them up so the Hajj can be successful. If anyone you honor my Hajj, you are doing it to yourself. Self. It is a Farida, it is a fifth. If my teacher taught me right, that sure is the fifth. Mm -hmm. If it is not, but it's a Farida anyway. So, if it is a Farida Oof. and you're saying that it should not be performed because you are dissatisfied, Allah shall deal with you. Inshallah, this will go. Okay. Okay. So, so, so the Hajj Committee, under the leadership of President Weir, Inshallah will go on. So I just ask him our elders that have come, continue to assist them, and we shall never let you go. We will be the most despairing Hajj Okay, thank you very much, uh, <coughs> Minister of Internal Affairs, Mr. Bani Sali. Very tough, but very honest statement there. Uh, one thing that I took from him is that, first of its kind, 
and we will see your money being accounted for. And we will ensure that that happens on the leadership of uh, on Olusini Pelete, who is a legal man. You know, lawyers are always doing legal things, right? So if you want legality, you want to you want to you want to buy a land, you look for a lawyer, right? You want to go to Hajj, you look for a lawyer, you pay legal fees. You you don't do where you will go the other way around, whatever that happened, well. you are doing that at your own risk, right? So that is the the uh, closure of that. So what we do now, you know, whatever gathering, you always invoke Allah into it so that Allah can bless it. There will be a lot of you know, there will be always challenges associated with this kind of operation. So we now call on the Imam Balde. Oh, few questions. You know, I asked him, he says, Mr. President, you have any questions? Just one question. Okay, then we'll, we'll take at most two questions and then we'll come to Imam Balde to. Thank you. My name is Elijah Fine, and I report for Capital FM and Grand Coast Television. Uh, in your reading of the statement, uh, you made mention of institution register. Can an individual also come to register for the eyes? God, I heard you speaking about institutional coming to the committee. Okay, thank you very much. So, we'll, that's the first one. Can an individual <coughs> come, you know, to register? Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah. we'll take that note and then okay. we'll just address all of them at once. Okay. Yeah. So, let's take our note TV. Yeah, I'm Ibrahim Kunadin Fofana for our note Islamic TV. Um, my question is you talk about the price of Hajj this year, you say 6500 in my view or my opinion, don't you think that money is too much for our people? This year, looking at the economic situation, that's one. Two. One question. One question. Okay, thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you Thank you very much. Uh, so one question, one question. Okay. So we, we take this one. Thank you so much. My name is Trogon Flammer and I report for Spoon FM and TV. I am concerned how many persons or pilgrims are you anticipating to leave on Liberia? Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so I love to be very sensitive with females. We have saw some females. Very good. So let's be gender sensitive. Let's not just say something. So for a best opponent from the LPC, I would like to know the actual time frame of this match. Actual time frame. Very, very straight to the point. Okay, so we take Prime FM. Yeah, I'm Jutonu Kori. I come from Prime FM. And we talk about the hash community. Agency, mm. has agency. I just want you to just clarify the function. What are the functions? What is the agency is doing that is the national task of the Okay, so the very last one there. I saw your hand up. Okay, my name is Mark Eric Amoyufuma, and I report for KMTV. I okay. want to know when are the program is leaving for. Okay, that question was asked, so, so we say thank you very much, members of the press, go to the chairman to respond to this question. Okay, uh, as to the individualization of the presentation, yes. In fact, our key interest is that once you pay to ABI, you get your receipt. There's a privilege or contract between you and the HAC agency. When you come, you are the next person on our list. On the day of the flat, it is that thing that will go on. So if you did not come to register and pay your money in our account, maybe you will be the last and you know who are responsible. First count, first set busy. On the question of how many tickets, I mean, uh, how many persons would it be, the quota available now. Of course, the minister with some people working harder hard now can be increased depending on the influence of people. And that is not far from happening. But it is 453 that is approved as quota. And nobody gets this quota until as, in terms of visa, except through the government of Nigeria. And that is the National Health Committee. As for the fee being high, the better is good to check your neighbor. Then you know the reality. Before it was 4,000 six persons used to sleep in the room. Today, you cannot get more than four persons sleeping in the room. Who account for the extra two two person in terms of hotel that we don't have in Saudi Arabia? 
when you carry the people, they have to eat decent food. You don't want your pilgrims to return home malnourished because they will be going through hardship in terms of Tibet prayer. Besides that, the flood, eh? the cost of petrol, jet fuel everywhere now. Everybody knows because of the conflict in Ukraine, everything high up. The way you used to get tickets before is no longer the situation. COVID is a factor. Liberians used to go without having tests to pay for it. You get over there, you got to take COVID tests and so on. So Liberia is the most reasonable now and improved all over. You go into Maka and people that are coming from Africa, they pay higher fee. I don't want to give number, they use zero but it's higher than like this. Guinea, even if that one that is above like this. You understand? So as to the agency, the role of the agency is purely religious and also commercial for the Hajj community. No. So it, they are, it is their right to do business in their own country. You take people, you take that something, that's fine. We are saying as a policy, whatever you get as a pro, uh, profit, those that can arrange your visa, those that can arrange your hotel in Saudi Arabia, responsible for everything, you must share profit with the Hajj community, not for each channel or each member, but for the entire Hajj community, so that by the time they say early registration next year, there is an amount in the account that will first jumpstart the operation. So basically, that's what happened. Okay, when we are leaving, well, when it's expected the departure, the departure for the house, which we you will, there will be another press conference because we don't want to say something and then come back on it. We said to the people before, five thousand pounds, but when the news came from Saudi Arabia from our embassy, the reality was that it cannot be done with that emotion. So, so on that note, there will be another conference, press conference after the. But this is the first major one. So jump start. We encourage everybody. Tell your people your own payment. You get a receipt from before you can get the second receipt. All right, and you know where you put your money for accountability purposes. And we did not tell anybody when you register with agency. That agency must remit your money to our account within 24 hours. Or there will be no way you can hold the National Health uh, Committee responsible for anything that will go on. That's the plan we want to do. Okay. Thank you very much, Chairman uh, <coughs> Lucini. For my ability, I would like to end the broadcast here. To come to the end of this. <laughs> I would like to say bye bye for you. The National Hajj Committee for 2022 has been holding a major press conference. The head of the United Dower of Liberia.